Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to give you a little quick demo of an application that I wrote to work with my BCD 536 HP scanner from Uniden. Um, been waiting for the Siren app to come out for quite a while. Um, doesn't seem like that's ever going to materialize. Um, I use the uh, control app that Uniden provided. It's kind of an engineering evaluation app that they use, but they offered it up. And it's uh, useful, but I wanted something that had a little bit more visual appeal, so I went and wrote my own app, and so I'll show that to you now. The application was written in uh, Visual Studio in a mixture of uh, C++ and C-sharp code. Um, just have a desktop icon for it. When you launch it, it just gives you a little splash screen. Um, I just call it Scanner App. Um, pretty simple. And boom, the app is up and running. And I'll show you more about that now. Okay, the app is up and running. Um, it has a lot of the same attributes as the Uniden um, application, displaying the system department and channel, along with the favorite lists in the system um, that's currently being uh, listened to or scanned. Um, gives you the name of the favorites list um, that you are currently listening to. A little star means it's a favorite as opposed to full database. Um, these are just a couple of debug fields, uh, kind of give you an idea what's going on. Uh, this shows you the scan direction. You can click it to change the scan direction. It's got a set of enunciators over here. They'll tell you if you're scanning, if you're doing trunk scanning, close calls, uh, close call uh, things, uh, searching, menu operations. Um, you can do system department and channel avoids using these little buttons here. If you hit a channel and you want to stop and listen to it, um, you can just click on the on the field itself, and that will hold on that uh, channel uh, department or system. So if I wanted to hold on that, just click it. It'll go yellow. Just let me know that I'm being held on it. And when I'm ready to continue, just click it again to continue. Um, when it does get a hit, um, you get the frequency, the modulation, the system type, um, any sub-audio detected information, P25 status, and you can also change the volume offset. Um, you can also do a channel avoid from down here. The button up here is a little bit small for me, so I want a little bit bigger one that I could slap a little bit easier. Um, I've got controls to set the priorities for scanning, for close call and weather. Um, you can control the volume of the scanner, the actual speaker that's in the scanner, um, using these two buttons here. Also control the squelch. This application only talks to the 536 uh, over uh, Wi-Fi, and so it's showing you the IP address that it's currently connected to, as, long, as well as the Wi-Fi signal strength for the scanner. If you needed to change your IP address, you just click on it and uh, change your address there. It gives you a link status. Um, it uh, normally is OK, but if uh, you turn off the scanner or something, it may lose connection. You can just click the word OK, and it'll reconnect to the scanner, or it'll do its best to try to do that itself. Um, there's a little keypad function you can use to mimic the, the numeric keypad buttons on the on the scanner. So if you wanted to turn on like favorite list too, you can just go ahead and click that. It'll tell you it turned it on, and now that's now that's enabled in the favorite list. Um, you can do a replay from here, so you can go back and forth and listen to what's in the current replay buffer. Uh, you go backwards and forwards. Um, you can just click it again to turn off replay, or wait for it to finish. It'll give you an option if you want to uh, listen again. Uh, signal strength meter um, gives you the five bars. Um, you can click it to get the RSSI information if you're interested in that. Uh, not typically for me. Um, the one, kind of the main difference with this one in the unit and scanner uh, application is I tried to add more visuals to this thing. So it's a lot of icons. Um, display a different uh, icon for each service type. Um, so right now it's showing you aircraft. Um, if you want to go and select which type of service types you can scan, you can just click the word uh, service type or the current displayed service type. It'll bring up a, a menu of all the different possible service types, and you can select and deselect one or however many you want. Um, you can hold on a channel also just by clicking on the, the picture. Um, it's just a quicker way to get to a, a hold when you, you're in a hurry to get something stopped. Um, but the one cool feature that I really like about this thing is I've added this uh, ability to associate the uh, system department channel with an icon of your selection. So you can click on this. Um, you can use wildcards for any of the different parameters. And you can select whatever image you want. You just download images into a folder and pick whichever one you want. And now you've, you've associated that with, uh, with that, uh, that uh, channel. And so it makes it a lot easier when the, when the system's operating 
to uh, just see a picture because then it boom you just know exactly what it is pretty quickly um, so that was kind of a nifty nifty thing there um, what else you can control the menus uh, the, the scanner itself so you can go through and you know set the scan selection list to monitor you can full, turn on full database and things like that if you need to go in and and mess with uh, you know your close call setups uh, basically anything that's available on the front of the scanner is controllable through this menu item here uh, there's a few menus up here, you know, the typical ones for uh, exiting, uh, set the, the Wi-Fi address. Um, the application has a, a file that it uses to save all the parameters so you don't lose your settings between sessions. It gets loaded automatically, but you can go and reload it if you make some edits to it uh, separately through a text editor. Edit menu doesn't have anything in it. Uh, scanner, uh, keypad is the same thing as that little blue object down below. Uh, service types. Um, was I showed you that earlier list to monitor you can you can select that either through just clicking the favorites list and it'll show you all the different favorite lists and you can hover over each one to see what the title is of that one so you're trying to figure out which one is which you can also turn on full database from here if you if you wanted to so that same option is available through the scanner menu virtual scanner is just a, a graphic of the the scanner and then there's hot spots on here so you can go through and you know, I can turn off uh, uh, quick key number two just from that by clicking it and you can control everything else you know do the function knobs everything through this um, I think that's mostly it um, there's a few other little debug things still sprinkled here and there there's still a debug menu in here so I can log what's going on um, there's tool tips that are normally turned off but you can toggle them on so you can hover over each over each field and know what it's what it's telling you or how to interact with it if you're if you're interested in that kind of thing so this is a work in progress, um, just having fun with it, and, uh, but I use it pretty much every day. Um, and Normally I just listen to my scanner just sitting on the table with the laptop sitting next to it, but if I wanted to listen to the actual audio remote, I just use the BCD audio player that uh, the folks on Radio Reference posted, and then I can use my laptop anywhere on my home Wi-Fi to, to monitor my scanner. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.